Hello there, in this video we're going to be showing you how to solve this kind of question. It involves adding vectors. So find an expression for the vector BA, that's this one right here, in terms of the vectors A and B. So those would be these right there. So let's get started on adding these vectors. There's two ways to add vectors. Uh, one of them is having them going in the sort of same direction. And what I mean by this is, notice that the vectors B and A and specific, specifically B, it has its arrow or its direction going in, well, it's going sort of opposite of that of A. This one's going upward, kind of, and this the A is going in this direction. You want them to be kind of connecting. And what I mean by this is, with the vector B, you would want to flip it so it goes downward like this. And notice that the, the end of this arrow would connect with the beginning of the A arrow, this arrow right here. That's what you want. But right now it's not happening. So ideally, what you would want to do is get the inverse of it. You want to flip it, make it negative. That would also change its direction to the exact opposite. But you could also make the argument, well, we, I could also just change the A, couldn't I? I could make it like negative A. Then the A would go in this direction and connect with the beginning of the B one, right? That would also work in ideally. But how do you make the choice? How do you, which one should you be actually flipping? Well, you make that choice based on the next arrow. You always want there to be a collision point. You want two arrows to meet up. You want this arrow, the one you're trying to find, to meet up with any of those other ones here. So notice that the the vector A is actually meeting up with the vector we're trying to find, the, the vector BA, this one right here. So you don't want to mess around with A because we have that, that collision going on. So your only other option, I guess, would be B. So you want to flip B. So instead of just putting a regular B here, you're going to put a negative B. That would alter its direction to move in opposite, as I said prior. So that negative b, add the a vector, this one down here, will equal the vector b a. It's going to equal b a. And that's how you would answer this problem. This is the expression for this particular vector in terms of the other two vectors, a and b. Uh, ideally, they would want you to write the positive vector first, so it would look like a minus b is equal to the other vector, b and a. Thank you for watching, and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And I do hope you're having a fantastic day.